What is up, YouTube? Welcome to Dude Stop Productions, the YouTube channel. You are watching the Entertainment Spectrum. Today we're talking about video game reviews in general. Uh, I am Mario, aka Mariti. This to my right is... Say your name, you cook. Floss. We've done this twice already. I don't say AKA, yeah boy Oscar. Yep. And to my... To the very front of me is... This is... What? I don't really have, like, a nickname. Like what is what yeah you Nuck, you are Nuck. Nuck, okay this is Nuck or Lucky AKA Green. Nick. Oh no, you were Lucky Green. A K Lucky Green. <laughs> I'm a man known by many nicknames. Ladies and gentlemen, before we start, I just want to say every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday we upload an Entertainment Spectrum <clears throat> video for all of you. You can watch that on DSP, or you can subscribe to our Patreon. I'm just kidding, we don't have any of that. <laughs> well, anyway, Mario, take us. Yeah, so today this we're talking about <coughs> video game reviews and if they are ruining us. If they're if they're just <clears throat> shoving their hands up our asses. Are video game reviews making our opinions for the games already? Let me give you some back backstory into this. Alright, alright. So this game I called t- Legend of Zelda, Breath of the <laughs> Wild, is getting rave <laughs> reviews. You mean the Legend of Goat? It's getting crazy reviews. And uh does it deserve them? <laughs> Hell yeah. Fuck Another yes. thing. Iron <clears throat> Fist on Netflix getting trash reviews. <coughs> hey, does, it des- does it deserve it? I don't <laughs> think so. Is it because of that white guy that looks like a nerd? My man I mean, Finn I Jones? Know. I don't know. I just Is it I the guy sh- with the curly hair? Yeah, yeah. Okay. The white dude, right? You know what yeah. I read a lot? <clears throat> it's like people. a lot of people are, are pissed because... I mean, you're not going to know any of this. Oh, no, but no. there's... There, there's uh, <laughs> this man's like... There's my man Danny Rand and... Uh, and then my and then my chick calling wing, dude. And she's people are, thick. Pe- she is, dude. I have the maddest crush on her right now. She's thick. Uh, is it, she that Asian girl you were yeah, talking about? Yeah, dude. Jennifer Henwick, dude. <clears throat> I just saw the sex scene. Jennifer Henwick, if you're watching this. Just. Anyway. Uh, you gotta watch the sex scene. <laughs> yeah, you do. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, people are like mad because her fight scenes are more believable than, than Danny Rand's. Like, oh. like, um, have you seen, like, like, it's more, it was more present during, like, the first episode. Remember where, okay, if you haven't seen the show, um, uh, I don't know if I should say it. Just kind of a <laughs> slow. Okay, so, I'm, I'm spoiling it. This is the signal. Um, <coughs> so, turn down your sound. If, um, Remember when, when Danny Rand first went into the Rand Industries mm-hmm. and he was fighting those cops? It oh, looked yeah. like he was just kind of like, yeah. just touching they them, and, them they were like, yeah. and then they were like, do all this like, like the moves like he was actually hitting them. Yeah. Like that I understood, but mm-hmm. like later on his fight scenes were, were better and I don't know why people are still complaining, but I understand from that episode from, from Colleen Wing fighting to yeah. Danny Rand, like Colleen Wing was more v- v- believable. Yeah. Like, I don't know <clears> if you <throat> noticed that. Yeah. I don't think the f- any fighting in general. I don't think the fighting's bad in that show. Yeah, I think it's good. But, yeah. Uh, anyway, well, but I was just saying because Iron Fist getting trash reviews, but I, I saw this tweet <coughs> on Twitter by the one Cliff Bl- Blazinski, Bliz- something like that. Isn't that the was it the the director? Gears the Gears of War uh, the, ma- the creator? Yeah. Okay. Uh, he, yeah. Anyways, he 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 was like, "Welp, guess I'm skipping Iron Fist," and it hurt it hurt my heart because Iron Fist, in my opinion, is a great show. But just to my point, our reviews... I mean, I said video game reviews, but th- this is just an example for shows. Okay. Our reviews already making your opinions when you haven't even seen the junk. Yeah, of course. Um, so, oh, is yeah. that a bad thing or is that a good thing? I think it's definitely a bad thing because it's mostly it's mostly negative. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, and sometimes reviews could be like, oh my god, it's, it's is it that good? I gotta, I gotta see this yeah. for myself, right? So it kind of has this sense of like intrigue thing <laughs> going on. But at the same time, it's like it's more. I think it's more negativity because people just are generally negative. I think, mm-hmm. and like when you <clears throat> see something like like you were saying, like Zelda had really high reviews, right? Yeah. So, <coughs> and then you had those people that are like, "Oh my god, no! Like it can't, it can't be that good." They're they're just giving it like positive reviews because it's Nintendo. Yeah. And like m- maybe it is. Maybe maybe they're getting a few extra points because it is Nintendo. But at the end of the day, I played <coughs> the game. I put one hundred hours into it, and mind you, I'm not a Zelda person. I've played two Zelda games and I've never beaten one. And this is the first Zelda game that I beat. The only one I've played is Ocarina and I don't even remember if I beat that jungle. It was a long ass time ago. Rip. Yeah. So, same here. And I love Zelda. I'm just going to say, but continue. For sure. It's like, uh, 
Like I'm not I'm not gonna say it. greatest game of all time, even though I tell Mario like all the time just for the sake of trolling. Gets me salty. It is my favorite game of all time personally. But I'm not gonna be like Zelda's the greatest game of all time. <clears throat> yeah. It's gotten the most ten out of tens out of any game in Metacritic mm-hmm. and your opinion is wrong. Like no yeah. it's it's your opinion, you could think whatever you want. Everyone I has have, their own favorite game. I have my own opinion and I think the <clears throat> the reviews are justified. Yeah. But like you guys you guys read that uh like people people are just going on Metacritic and just giving <coughs> Zelda zeros. Just really just for the I didn't see that. If you if you go on Metacritic, there's a bunch of like negative reviews. And mostly yeah. it's 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 just from people that But like, yeah, there's on Metacritic there's two <coughs> review scores, right? There's like the There's the actual critic people and that just and the users. Yeah. So the user one is the user scores where they're doing that. <coughs> yeah. And and like if you read them, it's just like uh I remember I saw one. It's like I haven't played the game, but it's it's just crappy graphics and everything. Oh, so you read mine? <laughs> okay. Anyways, <laughs> this is why Zelda beat Horizon. Anyway, Rip. But yeah, it's like, like I'm not necessarily salty. I think it's I think it's unfair because because if I, so for instance, if if I don't like Call of Duty, right? Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna go to Call of Duty's Metacritic and just give negative reviews just nope. for the sake of bringing the, the score down. <coughs> I don't. I don't care enough to give a negative review. Yeah. yeah, I don't care enough to give. I mean, if it's a video review, I'll do it. You know, I'll talk about it. But I don't care. I don't care enough to actually just go and just fucking write about the game. You know, this this the game. You know what I mean? If it's a game that I that I didn't enjoy and I think I have actual criticisms on, maybe I'll write a review. Yeah. But if it's just for the sake of blind hating, I think that's when yeah. reviews are like really <coughs> negative. And yeah, like, I agree. They just hurt. In general, yeah. Mm-hmm. So what do you guys think? Because people, I mean, no matter what, developers work so hard on their on their game. You know what I mean? So it's yeah. just like, it's like if you haven't even played the game and you're trashing it, you're you know trashing the work they put into the game. Even though, even if it does, if it isn't that good, you have you have to respect that a developer put their time and their money into that game. You know. So, I feel like it constructive criticism is what's necessary not for sure just blind sure. hate <clears throat> or yeah. even if you're just hate even if you bought the game <clears throat> and you're hating on it you're mm-hmm. saying this thing sucks this thing, this sucks graphics suck gameplay sucks you know that's not constructive that's just dumb and sorry yeah. to ramble on but uh there's this thing it's like it's like some reviewer gave uh, Zelda a 7 out of 10 <clears throat> and yeah. all and everyone was salty because they got a 7 same out of 10 same with Horizon <clears throat> on game uh, game spot not stop game uh-huh. spot they legit had to put up a video <coughs> after the review why we gave Horizon like an eighty six or something? Because everybody was salty. And eighty six is really good. Yeah. yeah, but but if your game now is not <clears throat> and is not over an eight is not over ninety, it's trash. <laughs> Basically, I, I, think, it's, I like, think it's really dumb. Yeah. yeah. I just anyway. when I was little, I would go on IGN and see the video game reviews, mm-hmm. and before I even played it, the opinions of the reviewer would already be in my head. Really. So when I played the game, I would like. You'd look for those. I would look for those things. Yeah. I feel like I feel like video game reviews, for me, are, are bad. Because if there's something bad about the game that a reviewer lo- uh, came across, and maybe if I did not see the review, I wouldn't really care about it. But once I saw the review, it, it would bring the game down uh, in my head because of this. You know what I, I do? I don't know. You know what I do? And this doesn't sway my opinion <laughs> of buying the game or not buying the game, but I'll go... I usually only check like the IGN reviews, really. Because yeah. I, you know, I'm subscribed to them on YouTube, so yeah. I'll go on the IGN and I won't even watch the, re- I won't even watch the review video. I'll just scroll down to the comment section and see just the score. I just, just the that, score. I don't want to see the pros. That. I don't mm-hmm. want to see the cons. I just want to see the number. That's actually a really good thing. You know? Yeah. Because it doesn't sway my opinion, but it, it can give me an idea of what to expect. But then again, I can, you know, I can actually ha- go in there with an open mind and and decipher what I think of the game myself, mm-hmm. not mm-hmm. what others think. <laughs> I'm going to be a devil, devil, <coughs> devil's advocate for that. I hate review scores, review numbers. I hate those review I scores know. that are like 0. 0.6. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, okay, yeah, those were annoying. When Titanfall got an 8.9. Is that what you were thinking Fucking about, Mark? Ryan McCaffrey. Or, what? Is that like the type of review you're thinking about? Or just white, like yeah. the, number, the numbering? <laughs> uh, I just don't like review <coughs> scores mm-hmm. because I was one of those people too that would just go down to the, the number. Yeah. And like, I don't know, I feel like you're kind of cheating yourself. Because I think what's most important should be what's in the game. And by looking at the review score, you're not really looking at that. You're just looking at the... What What the junk are you doing? You guys are swinging the table. Okay. Are you we? Guys, yeah, you guys are gone. Oh, my bad. So it's like... I thought this man was going to jump on the bed or something. <laughs> just going to rip. But anyway. But uh, yeah. Uh, personally, and 
I may be a sheep because uh, Colin Moriarty from Colin's Last Stand, a genius in the video game industry, also thinks like this. But uh, yeah, these like how I I'm am sick of them talking about Zelda. They're sick of me talking about this dude, Colin Moriarty. But anyways, I'm not sick at all. Oh, I kind of actually liked him more after the <clears throat> fiasco. It was cool, yep. I guess. But yeah, uh, <clears throat> so now what I do is I don't ever look at a video game score unless I'm truly like split like should i get this game or not okay i think that's like when video game reviews are probably essential um but like if you know you're gonna get a game i don't see why you sh need to look at the score unless i mean i'm a, people say i'm a fanboy but so mm. like i already have junk pre-ordered before it comes out but uh, so it's, it's a personal thing i guess but I don't know. yeah yeah but there's another thing i want to bring up and it's going to come back to iron fist actually mm -hmm. even though it's gotten trashed it's the top watched <clears throat> series on Netflix now. Uh huh. For for a season premiere, it's the top watched series. Mm -hmm. It it passed Stranger Things. It passed I mm -hmm. think Orange is the New Black. Mm -hmm. It passed Daredevil. It passed all of those. It, this is the t Iron Fist is the top is the top watched season premiere of of any of the shows on Netflix on, on Netflix. Do you My, think that? What do you think that tells you? From think, critics' reviews to just people, just the people that are watching it. I think the fact that there's so much <clears throat> negativity, it, it makes people want to be like, it can't be that bad, or God, I gotta see how so? bad this thing is. And it just creates publicity. Even though, I mean, it kind of backfires on people that are like <clears throat> trashing on it, I guess, mm -hmm. because it makes people watch more. And maybe they'll get mm, like, like newer fans out of it. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I was gonna go another route. I was gonna say, because there's been so much advertisement for that show, <clears throat> in my opinion. Like every time I go on YouTube, uh, on the internet, not on TV. I've never seen Iron Fist adver advertisement. But every time I've, I'm on YouTube or IGN or something, I always see an Iron Fist advertisement. That's probably the most advertised show on the web I've ever seen. Yeah. So that that's what I was going with. Maybe Cause it's, there's so much advertisement for it. Iron Fist seems more of a... It's it's still it still kind of has that maturity level, but it seems more, more of like a public show. You know, you can have that on in the background. I mean, you can technically have some of the episodes on with kids in there. Cause there's like, there's some, of, there's some of them. I mean, you you talked about a sex scene, like <laughs> there's sex. That's true. The minutes. gore but in that show. Like, I pretty... mean, there's some episodes that aren't that bad. Okay, maybe a kid is. Bro, do you remember too when that in? man was ripping that dude's face apart? Oh, that's right. <laughs> never mind. You can't have kids in there, but it's don't more, watch that show. It's kids. more. Never mind. Kids don't watch that. Let me take that back. But let's okay. But you can have. It's more of like, it's more toned down from like. From, it's from Jessica Jones, from Daredevil season one, I feel like it is a little more toned down. Like the gore, like the gore. I mean, <coughs> Jessica Jones was nuts. That fucking guy Kilgrave was ripping people to shreds left. That's probably right. the most violent. Yeah. Show. Um, pff, Iron Fist. Sheesh. You know what? Luke Cage is is. Did you watch Luke Cage? I've seen like the first episode. Luke Cage is the go. That, that, out of all of them, Luke Cage is my favorite so far. Why is it the? I just I, I love I love the char I love I love him as a character you know the the actor that they got he's really good mm -hmm. um the show I I really like how the how the show the homie Spartan Lock okay um Spartan Lock I really liked how the how the show flowed uh -huh. and a lot of people didn't like like the the, the villain but I, I personally enjoyed it uh -huh. but yeah that's probably the most the most toned down toned yeah. down it's <clears throat> it's the, it ha the only thing it has is pretty bad language but from Violent scenes is not it's not yeah. super it's not super excessive, mm -hmm. but yeah. Now that I remember, Iron Fist is pretty bad. <laughs> but well, hey kids, but <laughs> you want to watch some Iron Fist? But but yeah, this one <laughs> this one seems like the one to more easily publicized for some reason than the other ones. Like there's a lot of advertisements. Yeah, there's yeah. a lot. Like even Daredevil didn't get that much advertisements. And maybe yeah. they are feeding off of that negativity. Mm -hmm. Like now now that everyone's talking about Iron Fist. It's like, all right, let's pump out some advertisements now that everybody knows what's going to on. To click maybe, it a little Maybe that'll entice them to go and watch it on Netflix. Uh -huh. Yeah. So. I don't know if you guys ever played Evolve, <clears throat> but like that game was the total opposite. Where like Evolve was getting good reviews, mm -hmm. but everybody was trashing on that game. Everybody besides the critics. Okay. And that, that was like the first time I've ever seen that. Yeah, the critics liked it. Yeah. Usually it's and the then, other way around. The people yeah. liking the critics are kind of like... Yeah, you know, being critical. They really, it. yeah, they really critique yeah. it like, heavily. Yeah. <clears throat> so I guess that shows that maybe video game reviews aren't like, um, you know, controlling everybody. Like, Controlling's not the right word, but like it works both ways. Persuading, like yeah, persuading, <clears throat> yeah, yeah. But think, yeah, just in general, reviews are just like 
some people are just some people just take them so seriously like mm -hmm. you you got to experience things for yourself for you know sure, you yeah. can't you the reviews there f i feel like the reviews there for how would i put this like, like guidance yeah uh, guidance what you purpose, can expect yeah, maybe what you, can you shouldn't expect. necessarily like rely on the yeah like yeah. i feel like reviews like like it should be your own personal experience mm -hmm. to to <clears throat> to take what you need what you want from it what you want from it you know yeah because when i was a little kid the reviews would always be like a fact in my opinion mm -hmm. but then i realized that i was like a little cuck and i was wrong you're um, still a so cuck I, you're i'm a big cook i'm a, you're god. a big cook oh my god this is my last dsp episode <clears throat> rip it was a good run it's good, it good run same day the thing i i just think uh reviews for the most part are toxic and even when they don't mean to be it's still they're still pretty toxic mm -hmm. yeah. like like if a game gets bad reviews it's like <coughs> it does nothing good for for the game yeah and then you're gonna have people defending it and then more people bashing it and then if it gets good reviews you're gonna have those people saying oh yeah <coughs> they're obviously pay paying the reviewers and mm -hmm. you know just i don't i think it's a lose-lose situation <coughs> Because gaming is such like a thing that people are so passionate about, and if you like bash the thing that they like, mm -hmm. they're gonna just like get all, get all defensive about it. Yeah. So like I, the fanboys. Yeah. Like so the fanboys. I remember you nuts. told me once you didn't really like The Last of Us, or you you didn't think it was you thought it was overhyped or something like that. I don't. That, right? I don't think I gave it much of a chance. Uh -huh. but I, I I played the beginning of it like where uh, I think it's the little blonde girl and uh, Joel, right? Yeah. Yeah. The, the, the little blonde girl's his daughter, and it's like, how how'd you guys feel about that opening sequence? Just like the like, first hour of the game, <clears throat> the beginning. Because mm -hmm. I played, I played. Maybe I, like an hour. I really felt like it. It kind of just, it just kind of <clears throat> like placed the development on 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 the on Joel. Okay. Like, um, because like you know, it started with the daughter, and it it kind of with that it showed like <clears throat> what, because later you're gonna get that connection with how you know with Ellie, you know, um, well Ellie's the girl that she meets. Yeah, yeah, meets later. Girl, yeah, the little girl. little girl, right? So <clears throat> you get that con you get girls. that connection. With like how come how, on man okay <laughs> god damn it. I gotta take a sip of my water <laughs> but you get that connection with with how Joel will react with uh, yeah with with someone that you know that in this case Ellie how it reminds her of uh -huh. you know of his daughter and mm -hmm. you know how what what risk <clears throat> and what he'll do yeah. for her okay. you know so I I really feel like in that aspect it gave it gave a good it good gave good uh characteristics i guess to, okay. to him so you'd you know? say it, it, it did what it, it did it, to do. it did what he needs to do in that opening do you sequence. feel the same way about about it like yeah the, 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 the like the opening sequence in the first time i was just like yeah dude like i can i do uh, this I, I love when games do that like even horizon mm -hmm. like is this spoiler it's the first 10 minutes of the game i don't know if that's spoilers where she's horizon yeah. um it's still semi-new so we should do that right. should yeah, do the yeah. good old when i put my hand down no more spoilers put down the volume if you have if you're don't want to get it spoiled I but like uh, this method because I don't have to edit anything. Yeah. True. true. Just... But uh, yeah, you you play. <clears throat> I, I love when games like when they they throw something unexpected. Like you play as uh, Aloy when she's little. <coughs> mm -hmm. No way were you able to know. Um, based on the trailers, where you're gonna see that com coming. Oh, for sure. And uh, a, I like nice when I like when a game builds up to something. <clears throat> so like, I'm trying to think of a game where it just threw you in right away. Uh, it's fucking I, Zelda. I can't. <laughs> Zelda. Zelda? Is it it's Zelda, Zelda, but the thing the thing with Zelda is that you already know kind of what to expect when it yeah. comes to story. Uh -huh. So yeah. they're, kind of, they, they're kind of more like they have more room yeah, to do that. No, no more spoilers. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah, that's right. Yeah, but uh, <clears throat> but yeah, so you, I, I like when games start off start off slow, mm -hmm. and build up, and yeah, Last okay. of Us did that. Yeah, so. yeah, The Last <clears throat> of Us did have uh, have a really good story. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was quite a bit of cutscenes which I don't think <clears throat> I don't think you'll enjoy, mm -hmm. but but if you're a fan of a good storyline, you you <clears throat> enjoy that. The thing, the thing for me, I don't know, I don't know if I missed something, but it just didn't click with me. Like, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm pretty sure everyone's played The Last of Us, but I'm gonna put the fist up just in case, okay. just in case. <coughs> like when it, when it started, right, and and everything happened, I'm like, yeah. I'm like, it sucks that his daughter died. Mm -hmm. But then I was like, eh, and I just kept playing, and then I was like, I don't know. Maybe you're I'm just not, heartless. I'm, I'm not, kidding. I'm not digging this. But did you see why that was <clears throat> necessary? So, like, when Joel came in, when Ellie came in, you could see, like, all right, he's going to want that connection but, again. Yeah, like the, but did like you to get that far right? to, to when, yeah. when they met Ellie? I don't know if you yeah, got yeah, that far. Oh, you did? Yeah. But, but like, I don't know. Just, something something about it just did click. Okay, even if you didn't feel anything, uh -huh. did you got the point of why. I understood why. Okay. I yeah, just, why I that's, there, yeah. yeah, that's the But the that's thing, the I, I just didn't care. Yeah. yeah. I don't know why. 
I, I'm sure I'm sure yeah. it was emotional, but for me, it just didn't click. Yeah. Like like I played it and then I was like, oh, I don't know. Yeah. And I close it and I started playing Rocket League. No. But, <clears throat> but yeah. It's but like, that multiplayer though, <clears throat> you enjoyed. Multiplayer it. was fun. Yeah. I didn't play People a lot still of it, play that joke. But it's really tactical oh, yeah? and it's like, cool. yeah. I, I but yeah, that was that was fun. But yeah, I'm sure I'm sure The Last of Us is just a, like yeah. an amazing game as people think. I j- it personally didn't click with me, yeah. and that's just my opinion. Like like I said, the thing about like reviews, right? <clears throat> yeah. Let's say let's say I make a review. I'm just like Last of Us just didn't click with me. I'm sure it's a great game, but it just I don't know for whatever reason it didn't connect. I would yeah. get instantly hated because yeah, it's one would. of the, the most beloved games of all time. Yeah. Yeah. Just yep. because I didn't agree, I would get filet mignon. Yep. And and that's just how it works, you know. It's like you can't win if you're if you're gonna see something negative about uh, something. That there's fanboys for every game out there. Mm-hmm. Like if I trash on say something like. If I trash on Kingdom Hearts, then fucking fanboys will come at me full force, no comments. Oh, hey, fanboys, Kingdom Hearts is trash weeb. Come get me. Hey, them fanboys aren't 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 mean, dude. But like, they're nice. Us us Kingdom Hearts, um, um, us Kingdom Heart weebs. We're we're, <laughs> we're, good we're humble. We're good people. It's a Disney game hey, for humble, God's sake. Kendrick Lamar song. <coughs> You're trash. It came out yesterday. Anyway, <coughs> yeah, reviews are. I don't even know what to say anymore. <clears throat> I don't know if you guys watch that YouTuber, uh, The Completionist, or Gerard The Completionist, but yeah. he, he, like, reviews... Like, this guy 100% completes games. Yeah. That's his thing on YouTube. Mm-hmm. And the way he rates games, it's like... It, he doesn't give it, like, a, a score. He says, like, uh... He has, like, a little rank of, like, five things. It's like, uh... I can't think of it at the top of my head, but it's like... It's like, donate it if it's really Oh, kind of like, uh... Do you guys know Jimmy <coughs> Jans? The no. movie reviewer? Wait, no. He does that. Anyways, yeah. But it's kind of like a comical kind of review thing, right? Yeah. Where it's like, it doesn't necessarily give you a score, like a 6.7, a yeah. 9.2. But it's like, kind of like, trash. Like, it was alright. <laughs> trash. And then, uh... He says, like, like one of the things is beat it, like, finish a game, and then if it's that good, complete it. <coughs> and I think all that's right. kind of a more accurate thing. Yeah. I like that, yeah. That's because good. because since he completes games, he's like he's like he knows his games, he knows what's up. Yeah. And like and like it's it's comical but but at the same time he gets his point across without having to be like too critical of it. Like, yeah. oh yeah, I gave it I, I deducted it two point two point two points because of this. And I think I think that type of ranking is just way better. Ryan McCaffrey, eight point nine. <clears throat> don't be a puss, just give it a nine, you know you want it to. Or that's like, really dumb though. I don't get that. Yeah, that's what I know, right? 8.9? 8. 8. 9. 8. 9. Like, it's, like, it's almost... Like, obviously, you're trying to piss someone off. And it worked <laughs> for you, huh? I like, the po- I like the point fives. That's fine. Point five? I think I think it should just be zeros and, like, yeah. point, point zeros, fives. point fives. Like, I would get rid of numbered reviews in general, but since they're here, <clears throat> I, I, I like the point fives. So yeah. I think they're okay. I'd go with, the, yeah, like, so say 8, 8.5, 9, 9.5, mm-hmm. 10. Do you rather have the, uh, the out of 10 or out of 5? I prefer the start of 5. <clears throat> Start five. I prefer out of the ten. I prefer out of ten. I think I prefer out of ten because if you give a three, out of five to a game, mm-hmm. even <clears> though <throat> it's like more than half, it's still like bad. If you think about it, it's a, it's a sixty percent. Mm-hmm. So I think, I, I think the five star is more simple. It's just like trash, bad. <clears throat> no trash, trash. Okay, bad, okay, <laughs> good, good, amazing. Yeah, I don't know. It's nice. And that's simple. true too. Yeah, I mean, but then I don't know. But that's how it should be interpreted, and people are not going to interpret it. They're yeah. going to be like, 3.5? This, this game sucks. Well, and it doesn't. So it's just it's just how people perceive the reviews, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Kind of, it's it's people, honestly. <clears throat> yeah. If people weren't so worked up about it, I think I think reviews would be fine. So that's basically <clears throat> it. Anything else yeah. you have to add on to that? Uh, no. no. Zel- Zelda deserves the 10s. Iron Fist does I'll- not deserve... 30 Iron Fist. Oh, that's what I want to ask you. What do you? What, how do you? How are you? How are you like? I mean, this is off topic off the review, but I just want to ask you how are you enjoying Iron Fist. It's probably my second favorite Marvel Netflix show. What's your first? The, the season one of Daredevil is my favorite. Really? Yeah. I I have to say this is my third favorite. Uh huh. <clears throat> from I like Luke Cage the best. Your favorite. Mm-hmm. Jessica Jones. That was good. And yeah, and then and then uh and then Iron Fist and Daredevil. The two Daredevil season, Daredevil season one, then Daredevil season mm-hmm. two. Even I mean, though I'm gonna get hated because everyone loves the Punisher, and that's why they like season two the best. Even though the Punisher didn't, yeah. I don't know. I didn't. I didn't even finish season two TVH. It didn't right? click with me. And I, I have yet to so. finish any of, like watch any of these things. And I don't know if you, you know I, why. I and I feel like you're a weeb no, and watching no, no, Death no. Note. I feel like I feel like I have to read comics. Exposed. No, no. Like, I feel like I have to read comics. 
Like not, if, if not there's really consequences. Necessarily. No, no, but that's like my kind of your interpretation. Thing. Of yeah, it? yeah. That's that's kind of like the thing that kind of prevents me from like just clicking it on Netflix. Mm-hmm. Like maybe I have to know some sort of background for it, which I don't think I will because. I mean that's how I work. feel too. I mean because like I I've, I've read a lot of I read a lot of comics at at, at my at my wee lad stages you know. Yeah, your wee but lad. But I don't. Stages. I just nice. I don't read I don't read that many comics anymore. Yeah. Like I'll <laughs> open one up just to, just to look at it and shit. And, but you know I don't really read them that much anymore. This guy still reads <coughs> a lot, yeah, but elite. I rarely read them now. And I'm still I'm still more accurate than some of these these cucks out here like this guy. Really? Okay. This trash. What did I do? I'm a cuck. You are trash. This man, this man was talking about X. Remember what? I oh, forgot what he said yeah. about X twenty three. He said, "Please yeah. don't tell me X 23s Oh, the girl. Yeah. She's, she's, yeah. A, she's like the little new. Wolverine they they didn't whatever. explain that. They didn't say it was X twenty three. How would you huh? know that? How would you know that was X twenty three? Name the first trailer. I'm not. I'm done. It, doesn't well, that, you like, didn't watch the trailer, isn't, so, isn't that, right? Like little kid, all like vicious, like Wolverine yeah. in the trailer. You didn't watch yeah. the trailers, though, right? I like, saw the very first one. Okay, okay, but you didn't watch them. That's why you didn't get it. Because you don't watch all of them. No, there's was, the was a couple trailer. of them that, that that's why. Did that's, they say? So you just yeah. missed out some details. <coughs> yeah, oh, that's, why. Okay. that's why you're cuck. Okay. Anyway, Death Note is great. It's it's it might be a weeb. Stop watching that's that. It's pretty good. Should have ended at episode twenty six. So that's all. What the? How many episodes are there in that show? Thirty something. And it's just one season. Yeah. It's just. It's you just watch one. Attack on Titan. No. That's like a. I've heard that's. That's a like the good the weeb biggest show. fucking weeb show if everyone talks no. about. No. Biggest weeb show. Ghost in the Shell? Pokemon. Pokemon? Not really. Yes, Isn't no. Pokemon more popular in the US? <coughs> no, Pokemon's probably, like the I most popular so, anime thing ever. I can see that. Weeb! I can see that. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for I, watching the video game. Well, I'm not even going to. The Entertainment review Spectrum in video, uh, review, uh, review discussion. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah. We will see you on the next. Video. Episode. Subscribe. Like. Well, they're not episodes. Every anymore. Tuesday they're and videos. Thursday, right? No. New episode. New episode. Tuesday, Friday, Sunday. Uh, Tuesday, Friday, Sunday. <coughs> episode. New entertainment spectrum, on demand, on DSP. Yep. Dude, stop productions on YouTube. Check us out on Twitter and Twitch. Links down on below. We have some awesome stuff, and uh, yeah, we'll catch Hell you yeah. in the next one. <laughs> Brian McCaffrey, you're trash. Later. <laughs>